In the vast landscape of cinema, modern Western films have carved out a unique niche, blending the timeless allure of the Old West with contemporary storytelling and aesthetics. From epic tales of rugged individualism to nuanced explorations of morality and justice, these films capture the spirit of the frontier in fresh and captivating ways. Join us as we saddle up and ride through the top 10 modern Western films that have left an indelible mark on the genre, redefining what it means to experience the wild and untamed spirit of the American West on screen. Number 10. Hostels, 2017. Featuring Christian Bale, Rosamund Pike, and Wes Studi, Hostels depicts the story of a notorious U.S. Army officer who is given the duty of escorting a Cheyenne war chief and his family across treacherous terrain back to Montana. The film portrays the harsh clash between advancing American civilization and the dwindling indigenous population, highlighting the struggle for survival in a lawless and morally ambiguous landscape. As the Army officer and the Cheyenne chief, former adversaries in battle, find themselves immersed in the agonizing brutality of their surroundings, they begin to reconcile their past grievances. Hostels provides a stark portrayal of the violent realities of the American West during the late 1800s. Hostels, directed by Scott Cooper, delves deep into the complexities of the historical context it portrays. The film captures the uneasy coexistence and violent clashes between settlers and indigenous peoples during the period of westward expansion. Set against a backdrop of lawlessness and shifting moral boundaries, Hostels reveals the challenges faced by both sides as they navigated a landscape where survival often meant resorting to extreme measures. The relationship between the army officer, played by Christian Bale, and the Cheyenne chief, portrayed by Wes Studi, reflects a broader narrative of reconciliation amid conflict. Historical records indicate that interactions between military personnel and Native American tribes during this era were marked by tension and mutual distrust. The film's narrative arc, however, presents a more nuanced perspective, showcasing moments of understanding and shared humanity amidst the brutality. In its exploration of the late 19th century American West, Hostiles draws attention to the systemic injustices and moral ambiguities that characterized the era. The film's depiction of lawless underscores the challenges faced by individuals and communities striving to establish order in a chaotic and often hostile environment. Through its characters and narrative, Hostels offers a somber reflection on the consequences of manifest destiny and the profound impact of westward expansion on indigenous populations. By examining the historical backdrop against which Hostels unfolds, viewers gain a deeper appreciation for the film's thematic depth and narrative resonance. The story of reconciliation and redemption depicted in the film resonates with broader themes of historical reconciliation and the enduring legacy of America's westward expansion. Through its poignant storytelling and evocative cinematography, Hostiles invites audiences to confront the complexities of America's past and reflect on the enduring repercussions of westward expansion. Number 9. Young Guns, 1988. Presenting a captivating and lively interpretation of Billy the Kid and his band of outlaws, this movie features a skilled ensemble cast led by Emilio Estevez, Kiefer Sutherland, and Lou Diamond Phillips. Through its dynamic action sequences and vibrant portrayal, it revitalizes the classic Western genre with a contemporary flair. The film's innovative approach to historical narratives has solidified its place as a beloved choice among audiences. Embracing the legend of Billy the Kid, portrayed by Emilio Estevez, this film delves into the complexities of frontier life and the mythos surrounding notorious outlaws in the American West. Drawing inspiration from historical accounts and folklore, the narrative presents a nuanced exploration of the motivations and struggles faced by these infamous characters during a tumultuous period in American history. The ensemble cast, which includes talents like Kiefer Sutherland and Lou Diamond Phillips, breathes life into their respective roles, 
adding depth and authenticity to the characters they portray. Each performance contributes to a rich tapestry of personalities and motivations, offering viewers a compelling glimpse into the lives of these iconic figures. In addition to its entertainment value, this film prompts a deeper reflection on the historical context and cultural significance of figures like Billy the Kid within the broader narrative of the American frontier. By blending fact with fiction, the movie invites audiences to reconsider the complexities of history and the enduring allure of Western folklore. Through its fresh perspective and innovative storytelling, this cinematic portrayal of Billy the Kid and his gang resonates with contemporary audiences while paying homage to the rich tradition of Western storytelling. The film's ability to reimagine historical events with creativity and authenticity underscores its enduring appeal and relevance within the canon of Western cinema. Number 8. Hell or High Water, 2016 This 2016 movie depicts the story of two brothers embarking on a series of bank robberies to rescue their family ranch from foreclosure, pursued by two Texas Rangers determined to apprehend them. Featuring a haunting score composed by Nick Cave and Warren Ellis, the film presents characters clearly delineated in their outlaw and law enforcement roles, accompanied by visceral violence that is characteristic of the genre. However, unlike classic spaghetti westerns that often romanticize the rugged life of the frontier, this critically acclaimed work portrays a landscape marked by cynical desperation set against the backdrop of desolate and impoverished Texas countryside. It challenges the idealized and honorable vision of the Wild West replacing it with a more skeptical postmodern narrative that is exemplified in films like Hell or High Water. This film, directed by David McKenzie, offers a deeper exploration of the socio-economic realities that shaped the American West during the modernization period. By depicting characters grappling with economic hardship and resorting to crime as a means of survival, the narrative reflects broader historical themes of poverty, land disputes, and the changing dynamics of rural life in Texas. The collaboration between Nick Cave and Warren Ellis on the film's score adds a layer of emotional depth and intensity, underscoring the moral ambiguity and desperation faced by the characters. This artistic partnership echoes the tradition of composers in classic Western films who help define the mood and atmosphere of the genre albeit with a contemporary and introspective twist. Furthermore, Hell or High Water exemplifies a shift in Western storytelling toward more nuanced and introspective narratives that confront the complexities of American frontier mythology. By challenging conventional tropes and presenting a stark portrayal of socioeconomic realities, the film contributes to a broader conversation about the myth-making of the Wild West and its enduring impact on contemporary culture. Number 7. The Revenant, 2015. Set against the bleak and frigid backdrop of present-day Dakotas, this adventure drama, directed by Alejandro G. Iñárritu, follows the vengeful journey of a frontiersman portrayed by Leonardo DiCaprio. After a brutal bear attack leaves him for dead, he traverses the harsh American wilderness to seek retribution against the man who betrayed him, played by Tom Hardy. Though The Revenant is not set in the traditional Far West, but rather along the northern frontier near Canada, it vividly captures the relentless struggle for survival in untamed America. Showcasing DiCaprio's Oscar-winning portrayal of Hugh Glass, enduring immense hardship. The film illustrates a world devoid of laws, where survival hinges on grit and ruthlessness. This theme, commonly found in Westerns, is reimagined here in a more primal and visceral setting. The historical context of The Revenant roots it in the early 19th century, a time when fur trappers and frontiersmen navigated an unforgiving landscape teeming with danger, from the elements to hostile encounters with both wildlife and humans. Director Alejandro G. Iñárritu's meticulous attention to historical detail enhances the authenticity of the narrative. 
The depiction of the harsh realities faced by early American frontiersmen, including the treacherous conditions and constant threat of violence, reflects historical accounts of the era. The character of Hugh Glass, based on a real-life fur trapper, embodies the resilience and determination required to survive in such a hostile environment. The Revenant also delves into the broader historical themes of betrayal and vengeance, which were not uncommon in the lawless frontiers of early America. The film's raw and naturalistic portrayal of these themes offers a stark contrast to the often romanticized depiction of the West, presenting a grittier, more authentic view of frontier life. Number 6. 310 to Yuma, 2007. James Mangold's 310 to Yuma, adapted from the 1957 film of the same name, tells the story of a drought-stricken rancher who accepts the dangerous task of escorting a notorious outlaw to a train that will take him to trial. Featuring standout performances by Russell Crowe and Christian Bale, the film pays homage to classic westerns with its intense action sequences and a gripping narrative brimming with moral dilemmas and gunfights. The intricate development of the two lead characters combined with meticulous production design makes 310 to Yuma a captivating modern western that captures the essence and excitement of the genre. In this adaptation, Mangold stays true to the core elements of the original film while infusing it with a contemporary sensibility. The story is set during a time when the American West was marked by lawlessness and a stark struggle for survival, reflecting the historical realities of the period. The drought faced by the rancher, played by Christian Bale, underscores the harsh economic conditions that many Western settlers endured, adding a layer of historical authenticity to the narrative. Russell Crowe's portrayal of the outlaw brings complexity to the character, moving beyond the traditional black-and-white morality often depicted in classic westerns. This nuanced approach allows for a deeper exploration of themes such as honor, justice, and redemption, which were central to the mythos of the American frontier. The moral confrontations between Bale's and Crowe's characters are not just personal battles, but reflections of broader societal issues prevalent in the West during the late 19th century. The film's production design, with its detailed reconstruction of Western settings, adds to the immersive experience. From the dusty, desolate landscapes to the period-accurate costumes and weaponry, every element is crafted to transport viewers back to a time when the West was wild and untamed. This attention to detail helps evoke the thrill and danger that characterized the era, making 310 to Yuma a fitting tribute to the Western genre. By blending historical context with engaging storytelling, 310 to Yuma stands out as a modern classic. It not only entertains, but also prompts reflection on the themes and historical realities that have shaped the enduring legacy of the Western genre. Number 5. Dances with Wolves, 1990. Kevin Costner stars as John J. Dunbar, a Union Army lieutenant seeking refuge from the tumultuous conflicts of 1860s America in this 1990 film, which also marks his directorial debut. The extended version of the film runs for 236 minutes. Through the eyes of the disillusioned John Dunbar, the film gradually builds a stark contrast between the violent, grim life of the settlers and the serene, harmonious existence of the plains and its Native American inhabitants. This film offers a unique approach to the Western genre, presenting a romanticized depiction of the philosophical conflicts on the American frontier and the personal transformation of a man caught in the midst of it all. In Dances with Wolves, Costner's direction emphasizes the stark realities of frontier life during a period marked by intense conflict and cultural upheaval, the character of John Dunbar, weary of the brutality and chaos surrounding him, seeks solace and meaning in the untouched wilderness of the American plains. His journey reflects a broader historical context where many individuals were disillusioned by the Civil War and the relentless expansion westward. The film meticulously portrays the contrast 
between the often harsh and violent lives of settlers and soldiers and the more peaceful, albeit complex, existence of Native American tribes. This depiction challenges the traditional Western narrative by highlighting the perspective of the Sioux people and their relationship with the land. The harmonious lifestyle of the Sioux, as seen through Dunbar's evolving viewpoint, offers a poignant commentary on the disruption and displacement caused by American expansionism. Dances with Wolves also delves into the theme of cultural exchange and transformation. Dunbar's gradual immersion into Sioux culture and his growing understanding and respect for their way of life represent a significant departure from the era's prevailing attitudes. Historically, this period was marked by widespread mistrust and conflict between Native Americans and settlers, making Dunbar's story of acceptance and integration a powerful counter-narrative. The film's romanticized portrayal of the philosophical clash on the frontier underscores the complexities and contradictions of American history. It invites viewers to reconsider the simplistic good-versus-evil dichotomy often presented in Westerns, offering instead a more nuanced exploration of identity, belonging, and the profound impact of cultural encounters. By blending historical accuracy, with a compelling personal narrative, Dances with Wolves stands out as a significant work within the Western genre. It not only entertains, but also encourages a deeper understanding of the historical and cultural dynamics that shaped the American frontier. Number 4. True Grit, 2010. Adapted from Charles Portis's 1968 novel, True Grit marks the Coen brothers' second foray into the Western genre. The narrative centers on a 14-year-old girl who enlists a drunken lawman to track down the man who murdered her father, while No Country for Old Men broke conventional rules yet retained essential Western tropes. True Grit sees the Coen brothers adopting a more traditional and respectful approach to the genre. The film features stunning cinematography by the renowned Roger Deakins, enhancing its visual storytelling with breathtaking landscapes that evoke the untamed beauty of the West. Performances by Jeff Bridges, Matt Damon, and Haley Steinfeld are both eccentric and compelling, bringing depth and authenticity to their characters. Bridges' portrayal of Rooster Cogburn, in particular, stands out for its grizzled charm and complexity. True Grit explores themes of justice, vengeance, and the harsh realities of frontier life, reflecting the historical context of the late 19th century. The stories focus on a young girl's quest for retribution against the backdrop of a lawless and rugged landscape, underscores the era's brutal and often unforgiving nature. The character of Maddie Ross, portrayed by Steinfeld, embodies the determination and resilience required to navigate this harsh world. By adhering closely to the novel's plot and maintaining a faithful representation of the period, the Coen Brothers' adaptation offers a more authentic and reverent homage to the Western genre. The film's emotional depth and adherence to genre conventions highlight its dedication to portraying the West not just as a physical landscape, but as a mythic and morally complex terrain. The Coen Brothers' True Grit serves as both a tribute to and a reinvention of the Western genre. It acknowledges the traditional elements that define Westerns while imbuing the story with their unique directorial style. This balance of respect for genre conventions and innovative storytelling cements True Grit as a noteworthy contribution to modern Western cinema, reflecting the enduring allure and complexity of America's frontier history. Number 3. Open Range, 2003. Directed, co-produced, and starring Kevin Costner, a dedicated Western enthusiast, this 2003 film is based on Lauren Payne's novel, The Open Range Men. The story follows a group of open-range cattlemen who find themselves in conflict with a powerful Irish rancher who despises their way of life. Robert Duvall and Costner's characters, cowboys who seek refuge in the wilderness to escape urban violence, are forced to confront it when provoked. 
the antagonistic rancher wields his influence and brute force to maintain control over the town and vehemently opposes the free grazers for encroaching on his territory and challenging his dominance. Throughout their confrontation, the open-range cattlemen adhere to a strict moral code while their adversaries resort to deceit and aggression to eliminate them. Open Range explores the tension between the honorable freedom embodied by the Old West and the corrupt constraints symbolized by the advance of modernity. The film highlights the historical context of the late 19th century when the open range system was being threatened by the expansion of private land ownership and the rise of powerful land barons. Costner's and Duval's characters represent the dwindling breed of cowboys who valued autonomy and lived by a code of ethics distinct from the encroaching forces of modernization. Their struggle against the rancher reflects the broader historical conflict between free grazing cattlemen and those who sought to fence off and control vast tracts of land, a significant issue during this period in the American West. The film's portrayal of this clash underscores the ideological and practical battles that shaped the Western frontier. By depicting the cattlemen's resilience and adherence to their principles, Open Range serves as a poignant reminder of the values and lifestyle that defined a bygone era set against the inevitable march of progress and corruption. Number 2. Unforgiven, 1992. Directed, produced by, and starring Clint Eastwood, Unforgiven follows the story of William Money, a former ruthless assassin who has become a reclusive father and widower. The film begins firmly within the Western genre. But as the narrative unfolds, the traditional distinctions between good and evil become increasingly blurred. Eastwood's portrayal of money, a man haunted by his violent past, does not depict a quest for redemption or heroism, but rather a grim pursuit of two men whose culpability is questionable. The town money targets is not depicted as corrupt, and its sheriff is committed solely to maintaining order. This nuanced portrayal challenges the typical Western trope of clear-cut villains and heroes. As Money's past actions catch up with him, he sheds his shame and regret, reverting to the violent persona he once renounced. Unforgiven is a seminal modern Western that subtly deconstructs genre conventions while still honoring its classic roots. The film's historical context is set during a time when the Old West was transitioning into a more settled and law-abiding society. Money's character embodies the struggle between the brutal, lawless past and the emerging order of the late 19th century. Eastwood's direction and performance emphasize the moral complexities and harsh realities of frontier life. The film critically examines the mythology of the gunslinger presenting a more realistic and somber reflection on violence and its consequences. This approach contrasts sharply with the romanticized depictions of the West, commonly seen in earlier films. Unforgiven also delves into themes of justice, morality, and the personal cost of violence. Money's return to his old ways is not glorified. Instead, it is portrayed as a tragic inevitability, highlighting the enduring scars of his past. The film's critical success and lasting impact underscore its importance in redefining the Western genre for contemporary audiences. By challenging traditional narratives and presenting a more nuanced and realistic portrayal of the West, Unforgiven stands out as a groundbreaking work that respects the genre's legacy while offering a fresh perspective. Its success lies in its ability to blend classic Western elements with a critical examination of the myths and realities of frontier life. Number 1. Tombstone, 1993 Featuring stars like Kurt Russell, Val Kilmer, Sam Elliott, and Bill Paxton, Tombstone depicts the notorious clash between outlaws and lawmen in 1880s Arizona. The film brings together some of the most ruthless and charismatic figures of the era, weaving a tale where lawless reigns supreme and the distinction between criminal and sheriff is often blurred. Tombstone diverges from many traditional westerns with its chaotic and unrefined portrayal of the Old West. The film's atmosphere is reminiscent of a rowdy saloon where bottles are smashed, 
music is abruptly interrupted by gunfire, and inebriated brawlers are hurled out of windows. This raw depiction captures the tumultuous and unpredictable nature of frontier life during this period. The historical context of Tombstone is rooted in the real events of the gunfight at the O.K. Corral, a violent confrontation that epitomized the lawlessen of the American frontier. The characters, including Wyatt Earp, played by Russell, and Doc Holliday, played by Kilmer, are based on historical figures whose lives were marked by a blend of heroism and infamy. The film explores the complexities of these characters, highlighting the thin line they walked between enforcing the law and embracing the chaos they sought to control. By focusing on the gritty realities of the era, Tombstone offers a more unvarnished view of the West compared to more sanitized Westerns. The film emphasizes the volatility and moral ambiguity that define the lives of those who lived on the frontier. This approach challenges the romanticized notions of the West, presenting instead a world where survival often necessitated bending or breaking the rules. The film's success lies in its ability to capture the essence of a turbulent time in American history, where the struggle for justice was often as messy and violent as the crimes being committed. Tombstone stands out as a distinctive entry in the Western genre, embracing the chaos and complexity of its historical setting to tell a story that is both compelling and reflective of the true spirit of the Old West. The modern Western genre continues to captivate audiences with its compelling blend of historical accuracy, complex characters, and stunning cinematography. From the gritty realism of Unforgiven to the heartfelt narrative of True Grit, these films not only honor the legacy of the classic Western, but also bring fresh perspectives to timeless themes of justice, survival, and morality. Each of these top ten modern Westerns offers a unique glimpse into the rugged and often unforgiving landscape of the American frontier, reminding us why the genre remains a beloved staple in cinema. If you enjoyed this list and want to stay updated on the latest in film reviews, recommendations, and cinematic insights, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates and join our community of film enthusiasts today.